Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to break down the perks in Deep Rock Galactic. I'll cover passive and active perks, how to unlock them, and what each perk does. Okay, so what are perks? Well, perks are like special abilities or buffs that you can equip to each of your dwarves. Perks can be purchases using perk point stars that you earn by completing milestones. All players start with one active slot and one passive slot. Active perks can be used using a button. Passives are ever present. Additional slots are unlocked as you progress through the ranks. All perks are broken down into tiers. In order to unlock certain perks, you have to buy a set of amount of other perks as you expand your perk tree. Okay, so that's how the perks work. First, let's look at the active perks, which are only used when activated by players. The first perk is Beast Master, which allows you to tame a Glyphid Grunt who will fight by your side for as long as it survives. Only one Grunt can be tamed at a time. Berserker allows you to go berserk for 10 seconds as your melee damage receives a boost. You also get a super fast power attack recharge. Dash lets you get out of sticky situations with a short burst of speed. While dashing, all slowdown effects are ignored. Field Medic lets you instantly revive a downed teammate once per mission. Heightened Senses lets you escape being grabbed or killed by your bug captor. Hover Boots let you hover in midair for a few seconds, burning any creatures underneath you. Iron Will allows you to get back in the fight after being downed once per mission. You get up, can fight for a few seconds, then go down again. See You in Hell lets you trigger a large explosion after you go down three times per mission. The residual field will electrocute and scare off enemies. And the last active perk is Shield Link, which lets you overcharge a teammate's shield if activated while they are standing in range. Okay, now let's take a look at the passive perks, which are ever present and do not need to be activated. It's also worth noting these perks have different tiers. The higher the tier, the more effective the perk. First, we have Born Ready, which automatically reloads your unequipped weapon after a short time interval. Deep Pockets expands the amount of minerals that you can carry at one time. Elemental Insulation grants you resistance to elemental damage. Friendly makes Friendly Fire take 50% less damage. Then we have It's a Bug Thing. This makes loot bugs spontaneously explode when you stand close to them, thus saving precious ammo. New passive perk slot gives you another slot to occupy with a perk. Resupplier improves your resupply speed and after resupplying your weapon instantly reloads. Second wind gives you a sprinting speed boost. Strong arm lets you throw flares or heavy objects with greater force and distance. Sweet tooth means you'll gather more health from red sugar. Thorns damages any enemy that melee attacks you. Unstoppable reduces the environmental slowdown effect and you also move faster while carrying heavy objects. Vampire lets you regain health when you kill a medium sized or large creature with a melee attack and Veteran Depositor lets you deposit minerals into the mule at great speed. So that about covers all the perks. In terms of advice, I'd say decide early on what perk you want and then focus on unlocking those ones rather than unlocking everything. Also, the additional perk slots are really important as they can add more effects that will help you in the missions later on. In terms of active perks, I usually go for Deep Pockets to carry more minerals, Beastmaster to have a bug ally, and Shield Link for multiplayer sessions. Passive perks, I would go for a bug thing, which makes loot bugs explode, saves ammo, deep pockets to carry more minerals, but think about what suits your playstyle and what suits the level you're about to do, because they do really help. Okay, so those are the perks in Deep Rock Galactic. I hope you found this guide useful. Any questions, put them in the comments. If you'd like to watch my review of Deep Rock, that will be in the description. Thank you for watching. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Cheers.